Novelty rapper Razzle Khan and her startup guy husband are now facing trial for the $8 billion Bitfinex hack, but some of the proceeds still haven't been recovered. That's the subject of today's Big Take. Bloomberg's Zeke Fox wrote the story for us, and he joins us now. And Zeke, it's a huge hack, and it's made the story um, even sexier by the horrible music videos that this couple made. <laughs> but um, they didn't get away with the money, right? They weren't really living um, the good life. Yes, so this hack's been a mystery since 2016 when uh, Bitfinex, one of the world's biggest cryptocurrency exchanges at the time, got hacked and had more than half of their Bitcoin stolen. And only this year did the, we find out who allegedly was involved. And it was this couple, Ilya Lichtenstein and Heather Morgan, who lived in the financial district downtown, and Heather had a series of extravagantly bad music videos <laughs> under the name RazzleCon. And yeah, they, they seemed to be doing pretty well, but they weren't living like uh, someone who was sitting on billions of dollars of Bitcoins. Um, and the reason right. is that, yeah, Because they were, it's incredibly hard to then use the stolen Bitcoin when they know where it is, they just don't know who it actually, what wallet that per actually belonged to. Yeah, essentially, when Bitcoins exist as addresses on the blockchain, and once Bitfinex realized it had been hacked, they were able to see where the hackers sent the Bitcoins, and they published those addresses. So for years, anybody could look up these addresses and see where the Bitcoins were. It was sort of like setting off a die pack in a bag of stolen cash because nobody wants to handle bitcoins that they know come from a hack. Mm. How did they get cool then, Zeke? So they obviously, you steal money, you want to figure out how to spend it. And it appears that they had one idea, which was to send some of the stolen bitcoins to Alpha Bay, which was a dark net market where you could order drugs like it was eBay or something like that. And Alpha Bay was willing to accept deposits of dirty Bitcoins. And then once you withdraw your money from Alpha Bay, the link on the blockchain is sort of broken. Anyone who looks at your new address coming from Alpha Bay can't necessarily link it back to the hack. The problem was that, maybe a little unsurprisingly, Law enforcement was on to Alpha Bay. They didn't want to let this, uh, you know, online yeah. drug market run. And once Alpha Bay got busted, it appears that the authorities were able to make the connection from the deposit of the hacked funds to Alpha Bay to new accounts on the other side and then to this couple. All right, Zeke, just quickly, we only have 30 seconds left. What was your favorite Razzlecon rap lyric that you came across? Hmm. Razzlecon, <laughs> Razzlecon. Um, I have to say, I was impressed by her. It's either an amazing coincidence or like crazy audacity. She even raps about her hacking skills. There's one where she says, spearfish your password all your funds transferred. <laughs> it's amazing. I really encourage everyone to go read Zeke's story because the story in and of itself is great, but some of those lyrics just add so much color and they really are so wild. Bloomberg Zeke Fox, thank you so much.